in this video we're gonna make this mess all of this look like this in just about under two minutes first of all welcome hi if this is your first time this channel is all about you know camera gear filmmaking photography all that fun stuff. So in this video we're gonna take a look at some of the different picture profile modes, what to think about when using them and then finally how to color grade your clips. If you're only interested in the color grading part you can skip forward to this time, it's it's on the screen right now. Alright so first of all we gotta talk about some of the benefits and drawbacks of filming in a flat color profile. So when you first start your camera and put it into video mode you will have this automatic picture profile mode usually called like standard or, or something like that. This is essentially a pre-graded color profile that works most of the time but you don't have a lot of potential in post to color grade your clips. This means that the colors and the contrast and all that is pretty much locked in when you're filming your clip. You can of course change it up a bit, but the clip will start to degrade pretty fast as I just mentioned. And I will show you some examples of a degraded clip when you try to, you know, manipulate it too far for what the clip can handle. This is totally fine in the beginning. It lets you experiment with light and shadow, colors and contrast and it lets you see what style you like. But when you get a bit more comfortable with your camera, I highly recommend to switch it up to a flat color profile. Now, this will differ between brands. Canon has C-Log, Sony has S-Log and so on, but they all pretty much work the same. I'm using a Sony, so I'll refer to the names of the Sony profiles, but just keep in mind that your camera will have the same profile, more or less, just, you know, with a different name. First of all, the profiles. We have S-Log2, S-Log3 and HLG2 as the most normal profiles. S-Log2 is basically a typical flat profile that gives you a lot of room to play with in post. You will notice that the contrast and the saturation is turned way down, the blacks and whites are muted and you have a, a overall a grayish look to the picture. This is to preserve dynamic range so that you can keep all the details in the shadows as well as the highlights in editing. However, this mode requires work in post. You will need to boost the saturation, contrast, correct the colors, and then grade it to your liking. S-Log3 works just the same as S-Log2, it's just a bit flatter. This mode I would only recommend on full frame cameras. I've tried it out several times on my Sony a6400. The profile is just a bit too flat for the camera to handle and for me to recover in post. My experience with HLD hasn't been great. It works pretty much the same as S-Log2, but I feel like there's more detail and information from the S-Log2 footage. Now, your experience might vary, but I would recommend S-Log2. I, I feel like there's more information and it's easier to correct the colors. But to sum it up, I would highly recommend two shoot in a flat color picture profile because this just gives you a lot of control over your footage and you can grade it to your exact liking. You can correct the colors and you can put your own artistic styles on the clip. Just a quick tip when shooting in S-Log2, I would highly recommend to overexpose rather than to underexpose because underexposed clips are harder to recover in editing while overexposed clips, you know, to, to a certain extent, is easier to recover and being able to edit the footage to your liking. All right, so we shot the footage, everything looks good. Now let's jump into Premiere Pro or whatever software we might be using and start with the editing. So one thing that is quite common when editing flat footage is that you don't grade it enough. It's often that you get used to the footage and think it looks kind of normal. So one tip is to take a photo uh, when you're filming so that you can see you know, what the colors should look like. I like to do my color grading last, just because if you try to cut and edit with a bunch of adjustment layers from your color grade, there is a good chance that you can cook an egg on your computer. We will need two adjustment layers for this, one for the correction and one for the styling. First of all, go into the first layer and make a standard S-curve. This will bring back the shadows and the highlights. Then you want to go to the saturation and boost it to about 120, 130. After that, you want to correct the white balance. Now this almost looks ready to go, right? Make some quick adjustments to the exposure, whites, blacks, highlights and contrast until it fits your liking. So I'm happy with this first correction. Now let's go up to the second layer and do our styling. This layer is to grade the footage to your liking. So it's really optional if you want to make this layer or not. Uh, I will just make some quick adjustments to the contrast, whites and highlights. If you want to get into the nitty gritty, you can look at the vector scopes in Premiere. Here you want to make sure that the black just touches zero and that the white touches 100. This is the most accurate presentation of reality. And just a quick tip, you can look at this line to determine if your skin tones are correct. In this case, our line matches up, so we're good to go. And that pretty much sums up how to turn your footage from this into this 
in just about two minutes. So in just about two minutes you can get full control of your footage and how it looks. Shooting in S-Log2 gives you way much room to play with, so I urge you to play around in post, go crazy, try the limits of your footage and find what color style you like. Now this is all about personal preference, so there's really no right or wrong when you edit your footage. Just play around with the clips and find what you like the most. The benefit here is that your flat footage allows you to do so. So when you shoot your footage in a flat color profile like S-Log2, S-Log3, what have you, you have so much room to play with in editing and you can make the the clip look the way you want. Now we dedicated the first clip to correcting the colors and correcting the clip so it looks uh, representative of what reality is. Then the second layer which is optional if you're satisfied with the first layer but the second layer is just a bit more stylistic. It's to make your footage stand out and make it look the way you want. So I hope you learned something about color grading and shooting in a flat color profile. It takes some getting used to and a bit of trial and error but when you get a hang of it, you have so much more flexibility and room to play with your footage. So I believe that is all the time we have. If you like this sort of course in shooting flat and color grading your footage, just consider subscribing. That'll make me happy. And that is it for me. Stay creative. And if you like the channel, check out this video.